Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here at Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona. This is my favorite device right now. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I just love tablets. And uh, I just put it to full screen brightness, a full display brightness. Uh, this is on a Super AMOLED display. But you know what? Uh, let me show you something. Look at this little phone here. That's the very first Android phone with an e-ink display. So we got this from our friend Sharbucks from armdevices.net. And this one is running Android. Gingerbread, 2.3.5. Let's go back to the home screen. As you can see, you have a message um, app, a contact, reader, phone. There are various applications on here. Let's try this. Of course, the screen is a little bit slowish, as you can see, but um, at least you're getting about a month of battery life out of it. And that's In where you... Let's, let's, let's open the browser. Yeah. A month of battery life. This no? screen is not calibrated, but that should work. Oh, the touchscreen isn't calibrated. Here we go. But it still looks like a website. Look at that. Well, that is a website. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just not connected to the internet right now. It's connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, so maybe I'm not tethering straight now. And you know what? Let's take a quick look at the viewing angles here. It's crazy. And uh, we have here the volume control. Here's a SIM card slot, full SIM card, micro USB connector here, no camera on the back, no camera on the front, but an absolutely amazing display. 80 grams. 80 grams. And again, four weeks of battery life, right? And I think that is, that is insane. At least one week in normal use. Let's go, let's go back here. Uh, of course, it also comes with a little ebook reader application. It's all in Chinese. Uh, it's supporting the EPUB file format. Let's see if my Chinese is good enough to open this. Uh, okay, can you please view this? Go back. Here we go. Is this the Bible? <laughs> I always have a Bible like, in my bucket. That, that, that's like the Old Testament here. Oh, it's... <laughs> okay, All right. so what's the deal with this phone? Um, as you can see, uh, the refresh rate isn't there for e ink right now. But we've been also seeing projects like the Yota phone, this Russian uh, phone with an ordinary display on the front and with an e ink display on the back. But for people that just need to have a phone connectivity and maybe want to do messaging and they are somewhere where you just don't have um, a power outlet, this might be an amazing phone, especially when you're working in the bright sunlight. So this is uh, the very first e-ink Android smartphone ever. And I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.